the clear sort of pathway to achievement that you have from your scaffolding is unlike anything I've ever seen. I've worked across multiple sectors within education. If you enter into the scaffolding industry, you are very clear on what you have to do to get to a particular level, how long that's going to take, and also the possibilities. And certainly the remuneration is something that increases at every single stage of their qualification. So yeah, it makes me wish I'd sort of known a bit more about scaffolding a lot sooner. <laughs> Training today, I think, is very important. Not like it was years ago, where you, you just picked up a spanner and just started turning the spanner. We probably have about 380 apprentices come through the National Construction College a year and probably another 1,400 um, adult scaffolders that come, um, come through for training. A lot of people are very hands-on, but they can learn by actually doing things, seeing things, so they learn in, in a different way. And actually, you've got some very, very competent people out there who've never done very well at school, but they, you know, they can read drawings, they're worth their weight in gold, basically. The qualifications I've gained through scaffolding is I never thought I'd be there, to be honest. From leaving school without anything to go right through to where I am now it is, is good, and I've done that with the help of people in the industry. Doing it over an apprenticeship means you've got more time to understand the actual knowledge of scaffolding as well as physically building it all. It gives you greater knowledge, and if you are struggling, it can help you a lot easier than what you can do during a two-week course. Career progression from here would be chartership as an engineer and offering that technical knowledge to my peers and the scaffold companies we work for. Like I wouldn't mind going into sort of the scaffold design side of it, designing the big jobs and stuff like that. When I went to university, I did study um, computer game development, so I could go into the designing or the blueprints or the, the drawings for the actual scaffold. My ambitions for the future, I think it will be hopefully going to supervisory in the next five years and running jobs, and then when I get into my 30s and 40s, hopefully running my own company.